Hello everyone, this is ATFS Saz in Falcon 4 Allied Force. I'm pressing 4 to enter dogfight mode and I'm pressing shift 3 to enter to bring up my situational awareness bar. One of the things I want to do today in this video is to show you guys how I practice my turns in Falcon 4 to practice turning and dogfighting. So you want to turn steadily, you want to be able to rate, you want to be able to sustain a certain amount of G the faster you turn the faster you rate, which improves your odds of winning or getting your nose around an abandoned. So what I do in this in this video is I try to get down to about 15,000 feet and that's where uh, most of the dog fighting missions usually start at in Falcon 4. So I get down to somewhere around 15,000, between 10 and 15,000 feet and then I level off and I note my heading. So right now my heading is about 300. Uh, 300. So I'm at 12,000 feet, 1600. And I'm going to try to get my jet up to 400 knots. And I'm just going to do sim a simple turn sustained and see if I could maintain a certain rate. What I do is I press F to start recording so I could go view that in the ACMI afterwards. So again, I'm at 12,000 feet and I'm pulling back on the stick. And all I want to do is keep raiding around the sky as fast as I can and try to maintain my speed so my speed doesn't drop too much. So again, I want to maintain my altitude and my speed. So in order to maintain my altitude, I have to dip my wings. So right now I'm going up to 12,800. You can see I'm going back down 12,600. I'm holding my speed, holding my altitude, still 12,700. This is very difficult to do while you're flying the jet and at the same time manipulating on a bogey. But in order to become a good pilot, you have to do all these things at once. So again, at this point, I'm steady at 12,700, lowering just a tad to 12,600. But my speed is relatively stable at 368. Um, and now I want to climb up a little bit just to keep uh, above the above the horizon and just to make sure that I'm not dropping too much when I do this and I have to also keep my speed in check so, so here we are we're still dropping at 12,000 and keeping our speed in check and we're going to tilt our wings to correct for the uh, altitude so now our altitude is climbing again we're at 11,009, 11,008 so the tilt of my wings controls my altitude and I would keep my lift line above the horizon and that tells me that I'm rising. Then I pull back on the stick, not too much, just enough to keep my speed up. Like at this point my speed is way over 400, which means I, I can pull on the stick a little more just to lower my speed. Then I let it down. So back and forth on the stick controls my speed and left and right on the stick controls the pitch of my wings and I just keep holding that and I do a couple of circles I try to find out which pitch and stick will give me my best rate so what I'm looking for actually is to be able to rate steadily somewhere around 5 to 6 G's so right now I'm doing 6 5.5 G's steadily 400 knots 13,000 feet and I'm bringing it down to try to stay a little more level at 13,200. Now I'm dropping just below the horizon, just below the horizon. So my altitude is going to start dropping again. And my pitch is steady at around 13, roughly about 13 degrees pitch. And I'm holding there. Actually, my jet is holding pretty steady right now at a steady speed and a steady altitude. And that's what I like to do. I like to fly nice and steady and predictable so that when you go back to the ACMI, you can actually pretty much see what combination of speed and altitude is giving you the best turn rate. I can see that my G's have dropped to about 4.9 right now. And that's <coughs> directly related to my speed dropping. So my speed is now back up to 400 and my G's is up to 5.3, 5.4 G's and how much I'm pulling back on the stick. So I'm at 6 G steady right now. I could actually get a little more out of that, squeeze out some more. So I'm at 6.6 .6 Gs at this point. 
but it is affecting my my speed that's dropping so i don't know how much how sustainable that is at this altitude but again the jet does perform differently at different at, uh, altitudes so it's good to practice this type of exercise at different altitudes so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, just go look at this uh, performance that we just did in the ACMI and then we'll go over that together so if you think these videos help or you feel like you've learned something please leave a comment like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching ATFS SAS on ATFS Advanced Tactical Fighter Squadron thank you